Hello, meteorologist Kimberly Hepner here at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. This afternoon was a very warm day across the central areas of the state, including the south and the southeast locations, with temperatures soaring up into the 60s to mid-70s this afternoon. Uh, we saw temperatures reporting up to 76 at Seward, and through uh, the Palmer area, we saw reports up there of 74 degrees. So certainly a warm day across the area. Uh, the next front is stalled. Uh, currently across the central areas of the Bering, and this is bringing some light rain shower activity into the southwest with some light fog and rain reported across the central areas of the Bering. Now we had some very gusty winds across the Alaska Peninsula and the eastern Aleutians as we have a very tight gradient as a cold front is kind of swinging down the central areas of the Bering, uh, bringing a very tight gradient there along the eastern chain and Alaska Peninsula. Gusts this afternoon were between 35 to 50 miles per hour. Expect conditions to continue overnight with that light sh rain shower activity. Any thunderstorms for tonight will primarily be across the, the Yukon Territory. And then we'll see some fog along the northern coast and the western areas of the Bering. Uh, primarily dry conditions across the southeast tonight uh, and also for South Central. Some shower activity will start to move to the east, however, tomorrow with thunderstorm potential across the western areas of the Alaska Range. Now, primarily showers are going to be coming on shore with these low pressure systems moving in from the eastern bearing. Uh, waves of energy are going to be spinning around the upper low, keeping showers through the day on Thursday with the eastward propagation towards the southeast as we head into your Friday. Look for possible thunderstorms also tomorrow across the north central interior and back towards the uh, western Brooks Range there. And then as we head into Friday, that will stabilize and we'll just see shower conditions along the north side of that low pressure system. Along the back side of this low pressure, we're going to have ridging moving into the bearing, bringing widespread areas of fog um, for the western and central areas of the bearing. So that low, that high pressure is going to be shifting to the east as we head into the weekend. So be on the lookout for conditions starting to dry out with low pressure shifting more into the Gulf locations. This has been Kimberly Hefner with Alaska Statewide Weather.